Birthday America. This is the month we celebrate the independence of our great nation. But sometimes, we as God's people especially, we look around and we wonder, what in the world is going on in the world? And we wonder what someone like you or me can do to affect change. And you know, Malachi 3.6 says, I, the Lord God, do not change. But we as His people do change because He created us for a purpose, for right now, for a time such as this. So when you think about what can you do to change things, I'm gonna give you a couple of ideas. My mom is now 86 years old. She raised five kids as a single mom, and she raised us when they were taking prayer out of schools. And she can recall thinking about that season and says, I wish somebody would have done something about that. She can remember sitting at home and saying, surely they won't take prayer out of school, so they would never do that. Surely someone will step up and stop that. Now, as she thinks back over that, you know what she does? She realizes she was the someone. It's never easy or a convenient time to step up and do something to bring about change. That, for me, is living in the pro-life movement because it's a big issue of today, and I'm post-abortion. So I like to get involved and share my experience that I believe can help other women. I can help people that are in the pro-life movement change something that is pulling away at the cavity of the soul of our country. I believe in life. So when you think about what in the world can you do to change what's going on in the world, there's something God's calling you to do. Think about what keeps you up at night. Think about what makes you angry. Think about what bothers you to the point that you can't get it off your mind. You know what? That may be what God's calling you to do. So when you think about our country and what you can do to change something, put your patriotism on purpose. Ask God, what would you have me do to change the world? Because when you think about the people in the Bible, he used ordinary people like you and like me to change the world. So we've got a purpose, and we've got patriotism, and we've got a wonderful country, and we've got a call to change that world one story at a time. Wow. Amen. For more on Beth Townsend's ministry, visit BethTownsend.com while she really brings the Amen. word and with power. And if you want more of the prayer link, you can now get it by following us on Instagram. You'll be encouraged through the word prayer. And you can also watch some of our exclusive content that's at the prayer link on Instagram. Follow today. And that's it for this edition of the, of the prayer link. Don't forget to share your prayer requests and testimonies. Email us at the prayer link at cbn.org. And we want to leave you with a little inspiration to bless your day. A new song about the beauty of life by Sean Foyt called Imago Day. God bless you. And remember, prayer, prayer works. works. Before I was formed, I was loved and adored by a father who knows me by name. You sewed me together.